What's up guys? If you're watching this video, video you're clearly interested in learning more about Steel City Park. So stick around and we're going to go through all that this park has to offer with my rankings as usual. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you're new to my videos, welcome. My name is John Cummings. I'm with Better Homes and Gardens, Casted on Realty. Um, and if you're here, you want to learn everything there is to know about the Lehigh Valley. Um, and today we're looking specifically at Lower Saucon Township and one of the park reviews, and this is Steel City Park. At Steel City Park right now, this is about two acre park. Uh, has a, you know, a Little League Baseball Diamond uh, Pavilion, has basketball courts, and um, you know a little play area over here for kids. It's actually a fairly decent sized play area for your kids. Um, but you know, first thing we're going to go through is the amenities at this park. And I will give Steel City Park a seven for their amenities. They, for a small park, they actually have quite a bit to offer as far as amenities go. And one thing I've noticed is that it's very dog centric. So um, must be a lot of dog walkers around here because they have right around here at the entrance they have a little you know, little area where you could pick up some bags for, you know, either dog poop or whatever. So that's just nice that they have that available for everyone. Another thing that they have that's really cool is this fountain here. It's a working fountain um, and it has three different levels. So for adults, you know, for kids, and then all the way down here is for dogs, which is really cool. So, um, you know, you can bring your dog, if you're bringing your dog over, you know, a little fountain here. So in case you forget some water on a hot day like today, uh, it's just a great little thing to have. So that's one of the cool amenities they have. In addition, under the pavilion here, they actually have, let's see if I can get a shot of it, some of the, these outlets here that if you are if you rent the pavilion, you know, you can rent all these pavilions in Lower Salkin Township. And um, they have quite a few outlets. It's on every every pool, basically. So they don't have any grills like some most of the other parks do where you could get your charcoal grill but uh, you're allowed to bring a grill here um, but they have you know hookups for lights if you if it's getting dark um, and they do allow that so that's pretty nice um, they do have a, a porta potty over here that is the only restroom that they have though which is kind of inconvenient if you have a large group or kids especially kids you know you don't typically want to go in there but it is very clean um, so yeah, those are some of the, the main highlights of the amenities. Um, we're gonna check out our next part of the review. Uh, so stick around. So next on our review, we're gonna go over the upkeep of the overall park and the cleanliness. So I really don't have too much to gripe about with the cleanliness uh, or, or the upkeep really. It's, I mean, it's really well taken care of. Um, in comparison with the other parks in Lower Saugan and Hellertown, I'm gonna give this a six. Um, again, it's pretty well kept. Um, one thing that uh, I did notice though is that the swings are rather rusty. And to be honest, my wife would be going crazy with this because she wouldn't want our kids touching the rusty swings. So, I mean, being a little tough on the park because that's really one of the only main things that I see with it. Um, the porta potty, it's clean, to, clean enough to use. I did see some, you know, some uh, debris around the edges of it as well as inside but it wasn't anything major and not enough to to report on the video but you know it detracts it just just slightly but overall the park is pretty well kept uh there is some litter you know here here and there that you find but very small amount um again not really the township's responsibility to be picking up after everyone but again it's just something that you notice but overall very clean very well kept so let's go move on to our next rating. Our right, moving on to the safety aspect of Seal City Park. So safety, obviously, is number one of my number one priorities uh, when I'm bringing my kids anywhere, especially at the park, because it could be a real hassle if the parks are just, you know, if they're open to the roads or if they're, it could just be a real pain if it's not a safe place to be. Um, but I'm going to give Steel City a, an eight for safety. They do a really good job with all the safety aspects. And um, one thing that you'll see, you know, around the edge of the entire, the whole park, the entire way around is a fence, you know, 
well real well kept fence um they have the the backstop for the uh you know around the batting area because i know the little league baseball teams play here so in case there's a stray foul ball going over um but they also have the 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 whole baseball diamond fence stop as well so kids you know aren't running on here uh, if there's something going on or whatever maybe but i love the fence i love that it's great um there also is the uh, steel city fire station i mean it's it's literally right across the street so if anything ever did arise you're pretty close to help right there things i don't like um and it's hard to get away from this but you know there's residential areas i mean they're they're again right across the street you get you could see people in their backyard i mean you don't know who's living there that's again it's one point that i'm critical of for most of the parks but it's hard not to be around a residential area when you have a local park um, there's also a commercial garage right across the street here you know you never know who's going in and out of there as well getting their car fixed but mainly it's probably locals because this area is kind of cut off from the rest of of uh sock and so but overall definitely a safe park one thing else i wanted to know is i've seen police cars drive back and forth probably three or four times already since i've been here um so i always see sock and hellertown police going around they do a really good job of patrolling but you know i've i've already seen them i've only been here maybe 20 minutes and they've gone back and forth three or four times so um just good to know that they're out and about um but yeah safety and eight for sure all right, moving on to convenience. So the convenience of Steel City Park is not that great. <laughs> it's probably one of the worst of the areas. It is definitely a two. I, uh, I mean, realistically, I live in Lower Saucon Township, and I never come out this way. Uh, this is probably the second time I've been out to this park, and I really have no reason to come out here. Um, with some of the other parks, they're closer to the schools, they're closer to... You know, the grocery stores are closer to other things that you need to go to in the area but unless you live here uh, there's really no need to come out this way it's kind of cut off from the rest of the Saucon area um, so again it's just really not that convenient um, one of the other things about convenience is uh, the parking very small parking lot so you know if you're renting out this pavilion which I believe is rated for about 60 people you know that parking lot's going to be over capacity for sure so not very convenient um but yeah it's the, overall the, the park's really nice but it's just not convenient to get to so finally i want to talk about the fun factor of this park so basically would my kids have a good time if they came here and i'd say yes for sure one of the main reasons is this basketball court they love to you know go shoot the baskets or just run around on the courts they love to run along the lines or bounce the balls or whatever it may be um so it's probably the main reason for the you know, add it fun of this this uh, park um, again it's a really small park it's only you know about two acres um, and most of that is taken up by the baseball diamond here so if there's an event going on like a, a little league game or something you know you're cutting off you know three quarters of this park so that wouldn't be very convenient but w when nothing's going on you know your kids can run around the bases you could you know throw some some uh, you could throw the baseball around with them hit the ball uh, whatever you want to do they also obviously have the play area here there's only four swings so you know between my kids they'd already take up the two big the two uh, bigger kids swings and then my third is going to have nothing to do he, <laughs> he unless he's still on the baby swing so you know that's kind of a pain there um but overall you know it's 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 definitely a six for sure uh with with this uh the fun factor of this part there's a lot of just little things to do they pack a lot in in a very small area. I'll definitely give them credit on that. They've packed quite a few things for you know families to do and enjoy here um, in a very small area. So it's a great park for the Steel City area. Um, I highly recommend coming here if you're in the neighborhood. Like I said, it's not the most convenient if you're in other areas of Saucon, but it is a great park and it's definitely a great resource for those in this community. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that helps you with any decisions you're looking to make uh, when thinking about moving to the Saucon Valley area. Uh, if you're thinking about moving to the area in the next 9 or 90 days, uh, feel free to reach out, call, text, email, however you want to get a hold of me. All my information is in the description below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime. I'd be happy to help make your move as smooth as possible 
and I uh, hope to see you around the neighborhood.